Hello everyone, welcome to episode 23 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I'd like to start off this episode by saying congratulations to Lori Nix for being our episode 22 winner. Uh, she's been hosting Link down in the bookstore for a couple of weeks now. And if you'd like your chance to host Link in your department or area, uh, stay tuned on Monday uh, for the episode 23 question and your chance to win. Uh, next up, I'd like to talk about some workshops that we had on campus. I'd like to say, first off, I'd like to say thanks and give a shout out to the CTC Link trainers, uh, Michael Sheehan and Rebecca Meter. Uh, they came to campus this week and uh, gave some workshops on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, they, uh, there was a session on requisitions and a session on employee self-service. And on Tuesday, uh, the Student Services Center was covered as well as the faculty self-service tools. And uh, if you didn't get an invite or you weren't able to attend, don't worry, because uh, we were going to post, uh, we recorded the sessions and we're going to post those links up on the uh, video blog site. In fact, I'll show you where you can find that information. So if you're on the TCC, uh, CTC link video blog site, there's a resources link at the top. And when you mouse over resources, you'll see a menu. And the first menu item says CTC link project. And then there's, when you mouse over that, you'll see an option for CTC link presentations and demos. When you click on that, it'll load up a page with a bunch of links on it. And right now, it's just finance information, but at the very bottom is the requisition session that was offered on Monday. And uh, as the media team, as they're able to um, provide more links for the other sessions, the other recordings, and we'll post those up here as well. Uh, so you'll have access to those. Another exciting thing we did this week was we launched the, t the CTC Link uh, training badges. Uh, so for the folks that attended the workshops this week, uh, I'll be issuing badges to everyone uh, that attended. And, um, and, and these sessions will be repeated again during our Fall Professional Development Week. Uh, so stay tuned for the agenda when that comes out, uh, the schedule, and so you can uh, attend one of those sessions and earn a badge as well. Uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is we have a, a user acceptance testing coming up in September. Uh, and this is where, and what's exciting about user acceptance testing is, is it's where we kind of have most of the, um, the instance or PeopleSoft environment in a, what's a, called a gold setting. So it's, it's mostly configured the way it's going to be when we go live. And so we test that environment. So, it's, so when we're testing that environment, we're testing what we're going to see when we go live. So it's pretty exciting. Um, we also get to see business processes um, and, and what, that, what those business processes mean for us, how, what kind of changes we may see in existing business processes. Um, and so subject matter experts on campus will be running through thousands of these test scripts and they'll run uh, through these scripts from September 8th all the way through October 30th. So it's a pretty extensive process, but it'll be um, a great chance for people to kind of see the system and, and see various business processes in the system. Well, that's all I have for today. Um, stay tuned in a couple weeks for episode 24, and see you next time.